I kind of made a couple of orders. On the way to the gym, let's get this cardio. You're gonna dump me and then go to your next chick and tell her to wear it? No, no sir. That is the shower head. Watching me was the same show. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody else let go? What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I just finished walking the dog and I have to do a couple of things. First thing is these nails have lasted the entire month of August, but it is time to take them off. And I have a little bit of a collective haul for you guys. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon. I actually have packages still coming and I got stuff from Bath and Body Works Pink. So I'm going to show you what I got. I really wanted some body spray, so I saw these. This is just hair and body mist coconut. There's actually, I'm gonna go get it. This limited edition uh, Sol de Janeiro or Janeiro, however you say it. It's the Brazilian Crush 39. This was limited edition like two years ago. They did not sell anymore. They did not reproduce it. I did not know that they weren't gonna reproduce it again. I thought it was like an every summer type of thing. So I'm really sad. And as you can see, there's literally like drops left. So I needed another coconut scent. This is definitely not number 39, but it will do. It's a hair and body mist, so it doesn't really last that long, but it's the only coconut thing that I could really find that I wanted. I do have a coconut pineapple spray in my room already from Bath & Body Works, but I just wanted a plain coconut, so I got these two. I got these two literally just for nostalgia's sake, and this is the reason why I went there in the first place. First of all, I was watching videos of people talking about Warm & Cozy, and it just took me back to high school. It's just like such a, it just reminds me of like, sophomore and junior year i was wearing this like every single day in high school warm and cozy it's a perfect just regular body mist i do have like an entire perfume collection and i also have a body spray collection i just love body sprays for just casual you're not worth my a hundred dollar perfume type of vibe but like if i'm going on a date if it's the first date she's getting a body spray sometimes i actually am thinking about making a whole video on like my favorite fragrances and what I use them for because there is one fragrance and I'm not gonna expose it right now. Just know that every time I wear it around a man, they are asking. I had one man ask me if another man bought me it because he was jealous. I recently went on a date and somebody asked me what it was and I'm not telling them. I'm not telling these men what I'm wearing. You're gonna dump me and then go to your next chick and tell her to wear it? No, no sir. I'm gatekeeping my fragrances from these men, but for y'all, I'll put y'all on. So let me know if you want a video with like my entire fragrance situation, but I do have like an entire little situation going on. I do love collecting fragrances. It's like one of my things. I have like these phases of where I collect stuff. It used to be makeup and now it's books for some reason, which you will see in this haul. I'm looking at a bookshelf with a ton of books in it that I've literally never read. I am starting though, so don't come for me, okay? I am I have a plan to get through my bookshelf. I cannot do like that iPad, Kindle, audiobook, especially audiobooks. I've tried so hard, like I will fall asleep. But yeah, I got the warm and cozy and then I also got, this was another like high school favorite, fresh and clean. I'm actually gonna spray this on me right now. It just smells like fresh out the shower, babe. It is like a little hint of masculinity in there. I'm a feminine scented type of girl. I really love like the sweet, like very soft fragrances. I would wear this on a regular basis because I just love the fresh family. So it's giving very much fresh and clean. It does smell like straight out of the shower vibes. So I love that. And then I literally went to Bath and Body Works because I had a coupon. I got one in the mail. I didn't even know they had my address to change. I thought it was still gonna get sent to like my mom's house. I thought it was her account, but it turns out I have my own account at Bath and Body Works and they sent me something in the mail to get a free body care item and 25% off my entire purchase. And I forgot to use both of the coupons. But I still am going to use them before October. I think they expire October 1st. And I'm still going to use them because after buying these two candles, I'm going to need doubles. So I ended up picking up salted butterscotch. You guys. I have a lot of candles and I've always had a lot of candles. That was another one of my phases where I was just buying candles for no reason. But this, I don't know if I've just never smelled this. This smells so Good. What are even the notes? Brown sugar, sweet cream, and sea salt? Girl, it smells so good. Like, it is just the epitome of sweet fall scents. I love it. The first time I burned it, it fills the entire room. And then I burned this one yesterday. This is the pumpkin apple. This is the other one that I got. Another great scent. It definitely doesn't fill up the room as much as the salted butterscotch, but it is still 
such a good scent. The reason why I actually went into Bath & Body Works though is because I try very hard to keep my apartments clean, okay? I might have like a couple of slip ups like throughout the week, but I always get it back to level one. And the one thing that I cannot stand is when Lucky is in here by himself, I come back home from work or from errands or from whatever I'm doing, and it smells like dog breath in here. Like the house is clean, but it smells like he just opened his mouth for like 10 hours. And then I come back and I'm just like, what is going on? So I need to combat this. I used to have a wallflower that I would keep in my apartment um, in the very corner of the house, but it lights up 24 seven and I really don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's always lit up. So I did not realize that when I bought it. So I ended up getting another cartridge. So this is just scent control on low, medium and high. I didn't even know you could do that. So this is just a regular basic wallflower that you plug into the wall. It doesn't light up. I love that. And while I was there, I think they were having a sale on their wallflowers, but this is the only one that caught my attention. I've had this candle forever. It's just the leaf scent. If you guys have dogs and you have something for their breath, please, I beg of you, leave it down below, okay? Okay, now let's get into this Amazon haul. So I kind of made a couple of orders and I still have orders coming, but I thought I would show you guys everything because I haven't put any of this away yet. So in no particular order, first thing, <laughs> first thing we're talking about is boric acid suppositories, okay? Who do you think, who do you think put me on? Just take a guess. Michaela Wagner, that's right. A couple of months ago, I saw her talking about these ladies. And there's there's no shame, okay? When you need to get put right, when you need your pH balance back on track, you get one of these, you stick them up there, everything's fine. I actually consulted my gyno about it and she, I asked her if like once a week was doing too much. She said, absolutely not. Again, consult your gyno. I literally did to ask her if it was okay. But basically, if you want to use them whenever you feel like your balance is off, if you've had sex, if you had your period, whatever, if you just feel, you know, like you want to balance, I normally made it a habit to do it once a week just to keep myself on track all the time, keep everything looking fresh and clean down there, okay? Miss Michaela, hey girl. I know she's probably like, you cannot be watching my videos as much, but I do, okay? I've just been on the hunt for like a feminine wash. If you're, if you know, you know, okay? You go through these phases where you go through different washes. I don't know anything about this one. I'm just trying it out. My gyno actually recommended me like two soaps that I cannot find. So I'm gonna have to message her to ask her where is she getting these soaps from because she told me two names. I think it was like Emerita was one of them and I can't find it anywhere. So I got that for now. This actually also has boric acid in it. Next thing, I was talking about this in one of my vlogs. I got some eucalyptus for my shower. I'm a little bit confused, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> because when I looked online, it said it was real. Um, and then it also said like fake. It said real and artificial in the same sentence. We'll find out when I put it in the shower. But basically, I got this to hang in my shower. Um, if you know, you know what I'm about to say. I have an autoimmune disease. <laughs> and recently it was affecting my chest. Honestly, I think it's really good for people even if you don't have any like, you know, internal problems. Um, I just think it's a good thing to have in your shower. Open up your chest, open up your, you know, your nose. Probably under 20 bucks. So let's see how long it lasts in the shower. I ended up getting, this is so random. <laughs> like this whole haul is just random. I got liquid chlorophyll. Um, again, my autoimmune is actually inflammatory disease. And I heard that chlorophyll has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties or anti-inflammatory benefits. Do your own research on it and I am going to consult my doctors because I am in the process of going on a new medication. I'm not on it right now, but when I do get on it, I am gonna ask them if it's okay if I take this along with it. I don't see why I couldn't, but at this point in my life, I just asked my doctors if I could drink water with permission. Like I literally asked them about everything that I ingest into my body. If you know, you know, you know your girl don't do the pills very well. I can barely take the pills I have to take. So if it's in a liquid form, give it to me. Speaking of medicines, this is just another thing that I wanted to try out. It's a probiotic. I've actually never taken a probiotic before. As I get older, I feel like it's important to take your probiotic. So this is just a women's probiotic. <laughs> Y'all know it's a gummy and it is with cranberry extract. I saw good reviews on Amazon, so I just picked it up. Next thing, I told you this is gonna be random. This is deodorant. Um, I am in the process of changing out my regular aluminum deodorants to natural deodorants. I have a native, so this is the native 
unscented i have a native scented one it's like honey and oak or something it's very masculine smelling which i don't necessarily like but it was the only one at the store that had like a decent scent that i felt like would work for body odor so i just picked it up i was watching a jacqueline hill favorites video of all videos to be watching it was so random like she just randomly came up on my suggested and i'm glad she did because she was talking about this deodorant this is the tie crystal deodorant stick it looks like this and it comes in a pack of two I am conducting an experiment right now. I have one of these on the left pit and I have the native unscented on the right pit. And we're gonna see which one leaves me smelling clean by the end of the day. I really don't wanna use aluminum deodorant anymore. I just feel like I have enough stuff going in and out of my body like with the pills and the injections. I just, I don't need any more bad toxins. So I really am going to give this a try. But I will say I do love my aluminum deodorant because it leaves me feeling fresh and clean. So we will see if these can stand up to the test. Next thing has to do with smells as well. This is also another thing that Jaclyn Hill was recommending in that video. Um, she was talking about this and I was like, girl, you're selling it. You're selling it. I'm going to buy it. And I'm not going to lie. She didn't lie. Um, this smells really, really good. I'm going to pretend like I'm opening it for the first time. But really, I've used it twice. It is a perfume oil. I think the brand is pronounced Harim Al Sultan. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that is what the box looks like. I heard that since this went pretty viral on TikTok, a lot of people have been getting duped, but apparently this one is the real deal. It's giving juicy, not juicy couture, but it's giving like juicy smelling. Like it's just really, really fruity, which normally I don't like. This does juicy, fruity in like a, almost like a little bit of a mature way. It is oil, so it does last a pretty long time. I heard people saying it lasts like all day. You take a shower and you can't even get the smell off. For me personally, that wasn't my experience. It lasted a pretty decent amount of time, but I don't know about all that. Then I got this for my shower. This is like the shower shelves. I was talking about this in one of my vlogs. Um, I really wanted to get them and I got them guys. I got the shower shelves So I'm gonna get rid of the shower caddy that's in my shower today actually and replace it with the shower shelves And along with that you guys I got my rainfall shower head. This is also from Amazon I thought I was gonna have to go to like Bed Bath Beyond for it, but I ended up finding one on Amazon It was like 60 bucks. So hopefully it doesn't break or hopefully it works pretty well But it seemed like it was pretty sturdy. I saw a girl uh, Installing it in the Amazon reviews and she seemed like she wasn't having any problems doing so, so so I am going to try to install this today. I also ended up getting this. Um, this is probably so confusing if you watched my moving vlogs, but I did build a um, shoe rack, like a shoe shelf, and I have it inside of my closet right now. My closet is relatively small, um, and I keep the shoe rack on one side of my closet. However, I am noticing that I have more shoes than I thought I did, or I was in a phase where I was buying like a little bit of pairs of shoes every other week, um, and I want to put all of my sneakers on the rack that I just bought. So this goes over the door. I'm thinking of putting it on the opposite side of my closet door because I don't really use it. And honestly, my closet isn't really for aesthetic purposes. I do try to make it as cute as possible, but it's really for storage because I don't have a lot of storage in this apartment. And then the last thing that I bought you guys were books. So I got this book. I actually have two other Colleen Hoover books. Um, it starts with us and it ends with us. I don't even know which one comes first Like that's how much I haven't really paid attention to the Colleen Hoover saga I know one of them is a sequel to the other and I know it's actually being made into a movie I was watching a baby hey video and she said that it's being made into a movie so cool I definitely will read it before I watch the movie because they've just been sitting in my bookshelf but I was watching Bebe Hey, and she's been reading a lot as well, so she's kind of been inspiring me to read. And this is the only um, non-fiction book that I bought from Amazon, the only book that I would be reading like strictly for the story or for pleasure. Um, I actually hated reading growing up, and I still pretty much don't like reading now, but I've been forcing myself to read within the past couple of uh, weeks, like the past two weeks. So I decided to pick this up. The one book that I have read that I actually enjoyed reading was I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. It is a really, really good book. I'm actually in the middle of it right now and I am planning on finishing it. I've actually been reading for information a lot recently. I've been watching a lot of Graham Stephan videos. I've been talking with my dad a lot about just money and finances and things like that. And I really just want to level up when it comes to my money. So I have been reading for information and I am currently reading, where is it? Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. 
this book is so good for anybody that's like a newbie with finances and has literally no idea what they're doing this is a perfect book to buy i actually have like the original copy um that's like printed on like basically half of the size of this book um and it was my copy my mom asked to borrow it and i just decided to let her keep it and buy my own copy so i saw this at target like two weeks ago and they have this bigger version that's like a normal standard size book and for me y'all know i'm already blind so I need the biggest print possible. So I ended up getting Cashflow Quadrant, which is another book by Robert Kiyosaki. But as you can see, it's in the small print. I didn't realize, I didn't look at the dimensions when I bought it online. Um, and I cannot read this. I need something with bigger words. So I'm gonna go return this today before I take my nails off. So I am gonna get this sized book of this book. Along with that, I was watching a video, I think of Warren Buffett, I think, like talking about this book and saying that it's like the number one investment book that he's ever read. Um, I think that's literally the quote on top of this book. It's called The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. And I was actually talking about this with my dad and he picked up the book because I was talking about it. And then I got this book by Tony Robbins. I actually got recommended this book by Graham Stephan. I'm pretty sure he was talking about this in his earlier videos. I think he said this is like one of the first books he ever read on finance. It is Awaken the Giant Within, um, How to Take Immediate Control of Your Mental, Emotional, Physical, and Financial Destiny. And then my dad is actually the one that put me onto this book. Um, it's called Money Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom, also by Tony Robbins. But if you notice, I got this in the mail and it just looks used like the bottom of it is kind of dirty the top part is all crinkled up like there's like random folded pages in here so i am going to return this because it looks like somebody literally read this five times and then put it in the box and sent it to my house maybe they just went to the wrong pile instead of the new pile i'm not sure but i will be buying this book again just new and that is my haul you guys so i am going to go to the nail salon rip these bad boys off, go to UPS, return those two books, and I will see you guys when I come back. of the fall season. I'm officially declawed. I am having the worst luck today. So I returned my two books from Amazon. I just left the UPS store, y'all. And now I'm unboxing this caddy situation. They come with two of these and no adhesive strip. <laughs> it's not anywhere in the box. Like there's no adhesive strip. The only adhesive strip is this one. I don't even know if you can see that. It's for the soap dispenser. So now I'm like, do I have to return this entire thing just to get these adhesive strips? Like, I really wanted to hang them up today, y'all. Like, I wanted my stuff to be cute in the little catty thing. Anyways, let's open the shower head and see if there's anything missing in that because that would be an extreme bummer. Okay, it looks like we have everything we need for the shower head, hopefully. So I have this detachable one, I have this main one. The rest of the stuff is on the toilet. I'm currently watching an installation video on how to install the shower head, so hopefully it works out. It looks very simple, so hopefully it is, because I don't feel like calling the maintenance man to do this. I wanna be on my independent woman shit right now, so let's see if I can install this. I just have like random products in here, and I have a loofah, which I actually just got a silicone brush to replace this with because I don't want to use it anymore. I'm just gonna place my products on the sides of the bathroom until Sunday, hopefully when I get the right shower caddy. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I'm gonna need a ladder. I don't have one, so I have like a little tiny step stool. Let me go get it. Hopefully this is good enough. No, not really. I'm, <laughs> I'm installing a new shower head in my shower. Oh, you've been all by yourself? You're so handy, woman. Yes, I am. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be harder, but I think it's relatively easy.
keeps barking because he thinks something's wrong. <laughs> All right, and now I leave the adhesive side on there for 24 hours or like 12 hours, something like that for it to dry. So I'm not gonna take a shower until later, but that is the shower head. I'm about to go to the gym. This is the fit. I'm just wearing this shirt, which is also ironically from Amazon. It came in a pack of like five or six, just like this athletic t-shirt. I got my Gymshark on, got my Stanley cup. On the way to the gym, let's get this cardio. Also, I'm gonna do some arms. Maybe I'll do the rower too, I don't know. I haven't used the rower in my gym yet because I kind of reserve the rower in my mind for orange theory i really want to get back to orange theory you guys i have to look it up and like call and ask the exact weeks for hell week this year but i was looking it up online and it's usually around september october so i really want to do that it's like a goal of mine i remember i quit orange theory last year right before hell week and i was so mad at myself but i just couldn't afford it so this year i'm making it a goal to be able to go to orange theory during hell week and get a t-shirt i just feel like the t-shirt will be like a physical embodiment of my hard work and dedication but I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been to the gym consistently in forever, and I need to train up to be able to go to Orange Theory. So I'm gonna go back. I'm feeling good, feeling fresh. I also tried those women probiotics earlier, and they are so good. Let's see if it does anything for the body. But as far as the taste, they have like cranberry extract. Chef's kiss. Okay, I'm back home. I just changed. I actually did not shower yet. I know, I think the instructions are to wait 24 hours, but girl, I'm gonna have to give it a good 10 to 12 hours. I'm probably gonna take a shower later tonight at like 12 a.m. just to give it enough time to stick on my um, shower wall. I'm wearing my Death Note shirt. It was like one of the first, if not the first animes that I've ever watched and so good. But I also went to the grocery store and I picked up some taco kits mix and i also got some ground chicken i got this brand if you guys are curious i actually can't eat ground beef anymore at least not like from the store it makes my stomach hurt and so does ground turkey i don't know what's going on with me but um i discovered that like a year ago so now i just have ground chicken so i'm going to make tacos tonight i got this it's actually pretty good this is by minute made which i <laughs> I know this is definitely not like authentic horchata. This is definitely giving very much diluted, but it's still really good. This is um, pineapple horchata. Um, so it kind of just tastes like a sweet pineapple coconut. And if you know me, I love pineapple coconut. I'm actually thinking about making a um, pina colada though before I eat because I have not eaten anything since I've had that Starbucks. Or maybe I should just be good and have a cliff bar until I make this. I do want a pina colada though. If I do this, I'll just tell myself that I'm not going to have dessert later and that will be the balance that I need, okay? So this is the brand Chi Chi's. It's pre-made pina colada mix. You can just mix this with ice, which is what I was doing. I think if you guys saw my moving vlogs in the beginning, moving vlogs, I don't remember which one because I have so many, but in one of them, I was making a pina colada with just ice. However, I wised up and now I do it with ice cream. Actually, my dishes are clean. And I actually washed this last night because I think I made one last night. So I will show you with my fresh set. So I'm just gonna, that looks like enough <laughs> to me. So that's the mix. There's this restaurant in the Bronx and it's called Seashore. It's actually at City Island. And I used to go there as a kid, like when I got a little bit older. Um, and I still go there to this day. Whenever I visit New York, I usually go to Seashore. Um, and they sell a pina colada there, which I used to get virgin for like years. By the time I was 22, actually, I went there and I got 
the alcoholic version and it's called creamy pina colada and they use ice cream so that's where i got the idea to do this from um so i just put a couple of scoops in there and then i do just add a little bit of ice jump 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 <laughs> It's definitely not little. <laughs> Get a cute little cup. If you guys saw my moving vlogs, these cups are actually from the dollar store. Just go to a dollar store in a bougie area and they have the cutest cups. See that? It's creamy. You got to set it off. I'm so sorry to anybody that's lactose intolerant that's watching this. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how it would taste with uh, dairy-free, but that is her. Mm -hmm. 